Hey everyone, this is Razor Scum here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Full Throttle Remastered. Now, in the last video, we ended up crashing our bike, and we've found a safe haven in the in the name of Maureen, a mechanic, and she's working on fixing up our bike. But first, she needs to get um, three parts for us. Um, she needs to have she needs to have three parts so that the bike can be fixed. That is the torch, the forks and gas so what we're going to do to start is we'll grab the gas can take the hose oh good you're not dead yet i might still get a quote i heard you saved my life yeah but don't worry i wasn't trying to i was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped would want a picture of me bleeding. It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? I don't know exactly. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man. Spit it out. Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right. Drive safe now. I think there's nothing more we can do here, so let's head on. What's Miranda really up to? Damn it! Hmm. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go to visit a guy called Todd. He's an artist of sorts. And he might have the welding torch. So. Who's out there? Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't get kind of waste right. on bums like you. Let's kick the door open. Now we're going to open up this cabinet, and we're going to take a lockpick, and we're going to open the refrigerator and take a piece of meat. Uh, there's the meat. We go down here. There's the welding torch. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. Now the next thing to do is that we'll have to get the um, forks. Now in order for us to get the forks, we need to have a lock, but I'll just show you why. So this is Todd's junkyard, owned obviously by Todd, the person that we just knocked out. Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Oh yeah, I knocked him out. Hmm. Open up, Todd. Yeah. So we can't get this door to open. Um, the only thing we can do is get a lock installed, and when that that's done, we'll be able to climb up, climb up this chain. So at the moment, all the chain does is this. Not good enough. 
So we're going to head over to this gas tower and we'll still like we'll steal a lockpick there. No, not a lockpick, a lock. Um, yeah, that is a bad habit of mine. Malprophisms. Alright, let's use the lockpick. There we go. There is the lock. Now... I'm gonna head back to the junkyard. We'll apply the... We'll apply the lock here. Hey, we made it up. All right. So we've got a little problem here, and that is that there is this vicious dog running around in the junkyard. If we go try to go anywhere near this parts pile here, he's going to chase us right down to hell. So, there is a way that we can get rid of him, and that is that we can use the meat. We're going to put the meat in one of these cars here. And what we're going to do is that we're going to go up into this crane and lift the car up into the air. So we're going to lower the crane here. So the dog will no longer be an issue for us and we'll go over to the parts pile and get our forks. <clears throat> there we go. Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Just got to gas her up and go. So that leaves us with the final part of the puzzle, getting the gas. Now to do that we're going to go to the gas tower and we're going to extract extract some gas but not through the means that you would think so let's go there and we'll what we're going to do is that we're going to trigger an alarm. Where are 
I don't see anybody. Maybe nobody's there. But who set off the alarm before? Maybe somebody's just fooling with us. Uh, you must have missed that last guy. Well, if you can hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Nah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. Alright, so we've got this vehicle parked here. And we're going to open up the gas um, tank and extract some gas out of it. So we'll put, hold on, we'll just hook up the gas hose here and put the gas can here. Now we're going to, alright, so we're going to now use our mouth with the hose, get, get some play going. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick. Mm. You go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you. What's this picture of? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Okay, just curious. Now I'm out of here. I hate surprises. All right, <laughs> here she comes. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. <laughs> I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. <laughs> And that's about enough to wrap it up. Um, anyways, so don't forget to check out my Facebook page and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks All for right, watching. Look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? No. Keep looking.